Hi guys and welcome back to another Semprint TV video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Inter's next game against Lazio. Today, I'm joined by special guest, Stephen Moore. Ciao, my name is Stephen. I am a writer for Gianluca De Marzio and the founder of the Laziali, a website that hosts all content pertaining to Italian football club Lazio. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at S underscore K underscore more and the Laziali at the underscore Laziali. It's great to have you on. So let's get things underway. What have you made of Lazio's start to the season? So Lazio's seen um, kind of an up and down start of the season, kind of similar to their total season uh, last campaign and the one before that. Uh, we started off the season very strong, a 3 0 win against Sampdoria. Uh, then drew in that dramatic post fixture game um, where Post was definitely the man of the match uh, against Derby rivals Roma. Uh, drew 1 1. International break hit. Uh, we came back and went up a goal against Spall, but actually managed to lose to one. Uh, and that was the exact same uh, result that we received uh, at European level uh, against Cluj. Um, went up a goal, uh, conceded two, kind of had mental lapses, these blackouts that continue to happen. Um, and then most recently, uh, we did travel or host uh, Parma in the match uh, in match day four. Uh, so it's good to finally see them acquire those three points once again after kind of having that drop in form and uh, this will definitely give them a confidence boost uh, ahead of the fixture against Inter. Yeah, completely agree there. I mean, I don't think us Inter fans can look too much into your up and down form, I'd say. Because, I mean, certainly matches between us in recent years have always been tightly fought affairs. I mean, you just need to look back to that final day of the season, two seasons ago, where we clinched Champions League qualification at your expense. And yeah, games are certainly really tight and it will be a really good game, I think. So moving on from that, what players should us Inter fans be looking out for? And they're going to have to be wary of Lazio's four prized assets, those being Jordi Mogode, Sergei Milikovic-Savic, Luis Alberto and Joaquin Correa. If anything's going to happen, it's going to be from these main stars. Um, they're the ones who can carry a team forward in a match of this uh, intensity, playing at the San Siro against Inter, who personally have been one of the top teams in the Serie A this campaign under Conte. Um, so definitely those four are going to be the players that Inter are going to have to look out for. Um, in addition to the fact of uh, Manuel Azzari, I believe uh, he will start on the right flank over Adam Marusic for sure. Um, he's been a great acquisition. We've seen him for play for Spal for the past few seasons and seen what uh, he can bring to a team with his quality of pace uh, and his crosses down the right flank. So whoever starts for Inter down that left flank is definitely going to have some serious issues, um, and definitely in the left center back role as well. All five of these players have really been performing since the get-go this season. Uh, we've seen Manuel Azzari be the only one addition uh, who was actually purchased for the starting 11 to complete Simone Inzaghi's uh, dream team, you could say. Um, and he's really lived up to those expectations. And when you have Trilli Immobile netting his chances and Luis Alberto and Mugovic Savage proving what they're capable of in the center of the park. Um, and that's that extra spice from uh, Joaquin Correa up top. It really seems like a complete team. Uh, we just need to uh, be compact and stay uh, defensively aware to win these matches uh, against these stronger sides. Yeah, I completely agree with the players you've named there. Jira Mobley, everyone knows what he's capable of. Also the top scorer in recent seasons. And Sergei Milinkovic Savic is a player that many Inter fans, myself included, really, really like and would love to see him at the club. So finally, Stephen, what is your prediction for, for the match? It's never an easy match uh, this early on in the season and away from home. Um, I'd like to give Lazio the three points, but coming off a derby victory against Milan um, at home, actually, uh, last week, I'm going to have to give Inter the edge on this match. Um, I do see them coming out uh, victorious with a 3-1 victory. Let's hope your prediction comes true. I certainly wouldn't be complaining if that was end result. Personally, I think it's going to be a really tight one, and I think Inter are just going to edge this 1-0. I think Romelu Lukaku will probably get on the score sheet again. I guess it could be said that this is our first real test of the season. A lot of the media had kind of bigged up Saturday's derbies, kind of the first big game of the season and stuff, but it was anything but. As we kind of said in the post-match review on Semprinter TV, it wasn't a great performance or a match we'll forever remember, but Milan just simply weren't good enough. And hopefully Lazio will kind of give us that test and it will be a match that I presume will really allow us to kind of judge kind of where we are I know we've had that perfect start, but as I've said, we've not exactly had the strongest of opponents, so really keen to see how this one goes. 
Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below what your predictions for the match are. And I've got to give a lot of thanks to Stephen for coming on too. I very much appreciate it. Thanks for having me on guys. It's been a pleasure.